Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to green screen like a pro. I'm going to show you all the tricks you need to green screen, and in particular, I'm going to show you how to green screen not very good footage. And I'm going to show you how to make that work. So it's not like this is perfect real world settings. And we're going to get nice and deep into the dirt here, so let's get going. I'm opening up Premiere Pro 2021, as you can see here, I've got it open. And let's get some footage in. All right, first step, go to your Finder or your Windows Explorer and drag and drop in the footage. I have selected this footage here. This is stock footage I got off Pexels, and it is now in our project folder here, in our project bar, and now I'm going to drag and drop it into the timeline. Kaboom. All right, we'll take a quick look at this picture, at, at the video here. You're going to notice that, yeah, she's in front of a green screen. She's got her camera. But the one thing that you will note is that it is not a very well lit green screen. So what we want to do is we want to green screen her out of, we want to take the green screen out. We want to leave her in it. And again, it's not very well lit. So let's just go right into this. All right. So I'm just going to chop it down to about five seconds of footage because there's no point going too far. Uh, I want this to be quick and to the point. Okay. So we've got five seconds of her in front of a green screen. The next step this is the critical step is we're going to go ahead and select ultra key. Now we want to be in the effects workspace. If you're in the editing workspaces, which is kind of by default, left click and select the effects workspace. Now under the effects uh, panel here, and if you don't see it, just go to window and make sure there's an, uh, there's a check mark beside effects. If you don't see it in here, we're going to type in ultra. And when you do that, you're going to see ultra key come up It's under video effects, keying ultra key. This is the chroma key. Basically, this is the way to green screen. I'm going to drag and drop it onto the footage and on the timeline. And as you can see, it didn't do anything. However, not to despair, we're going to fix that. You'll also notice that I'm now in the effect controls panel. Again, if you do not see this and it didn't pop up for you, it should pop up automatically. But if not, go to window and make sure there's a check mark beside effect controls. Once you're in effect controls, you're going to see ultra key here. And now this is where we start to make some magic happen. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and select the key color. Now I'm going to left click on that key color on the dark on the on the box there and it's automatically set to black for me. I'm going to hover over here to the eyedropper and then I'm going to eyedropper and drag it onto the canvas so it takes a little finessing sometimes I'm just gonna go double click it here actually hang on and come on eyedropper here we go and drag and drop there we go drag and drop it onto the canvas and again this seems to be a little buggy because sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't now I'm going to select green now a lot of people will select green like the bright green and assume that's the right way to go but in this situation it is not because some of the green at over here as I get a little bit closer to the edges is darker and this is always harder to take out than a perfectly lit green screen. So I'm going to select somewhere around here which is a darker shade of green and then I'm going to let go and you're going to see that this is the green color that we've selected. Now I'm going to hit OK. Automatically you're going to see here that we're now pulling out some some of the color. It's gone to black but what we want is we want her to be in the picture and we want all of everything behind her to be black, pitch black, without losing any of her. That's the ultimate goal. And just so you guys can see right now, if I was to go switch this output from composite to alpha channel, you'll see, yeah, it's kind of ugly. But we want to be able to keep her completely in the shot and the rest out of it. So let's go through some of the key settings. The first one is matte generation. And one of the settings that I like to work with is highlight. Watch highlight as I change this. As I change it to zero, it almost automatically fixes everything. It's not perfect, but for some of you that have a very well lit green screen and it's well lit and it's quite balanced, you can go down and mess with highlight and get it down a little bit like, let's say, like if I went to one, no, if I go to zero, it's pretty close, but you might not have to go there. The second thing, is you want to increase the pederance, uh, which is not tolerance and pedestal, it's pedestal. I'm going to jack the pedestal up quite a bit. Let's go to 80. And what I'm trying to do is I make, again, make the background black. 
and I want to keep her in the shot. I'm going to go ahead and take a look again at the alpha channel and I'm going to notice that it's pretty close to perfect. There is some parts on the left side and the right side here so I'm just going to dial this up a little more. Uh, is the pedestal going to go a little, if it goes higher, okay. We could dial it to about there. Um, let's see if we want to work with the tolerance. Tolerance is not going to do too much. Um, also, you can work with the shadow. Shadow does have some effect. If I go to zero, it's got a pretty big effect. If I go to 100, it's got a pretty big effect. So I'm going to drag that down a little bit. Not much though, actually. Let's go to about 47. And then let's switch over here. We're going to go back to composite. We're going to go to matte cleanup. And now we're going to look at the choke and we're actually going to increase a couple of these things. So I'm going to increase the choke and I guess we got to go back to show you what is happening here. So we're in the alpha channel, we're adjusting the choke and you're going to see that we're just choking it a little bit, but you're getting spots on her. So maybe that's not what we want to do. So let's dial the choke back because we don't want to see spots on her anywhere, but we do kind of want to work with the contrast. So increasing the contrast is actually a pretty good solution in this particular case. The last thing that I want to do is I want to go to spill suppression and I want to also increase the spill a little bit just because that's basically what's happening. Spill is basically when the light, the green light is, it, the light's reflecting on the screen and that screen is reflecting on your shoulders. There's a little bit of spill there and I just generally tend to increase it a little bit. So let's look at the composite and it's pretty close. When we go back to alpha, there's a little bit of sparkle here on the right side. I'm going to show you an advanced technique right now to fix that. Okay, what you want to do now is if you have some parts that don't quite work for you, like in this situation, we're going to crop it. You go under effects, go to crop, and this is for this situation. This isn't in all green screens, but I'm going to chop the parts out that I don't like. So I'm going to chop the edges off of her here. So when I drag and drop crop onto her, Let's go down to Ultra Key. Underneath Ultra Key, you're going to see Crop. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this into about here. I'm going to pull this into about here. So I'm taking off the extra edges. And as you can see here, as we run through the shot, she never brings her hand out anywhere near enough for that. So again, I'm going to go to Fit. And again, I've cropped out the little bits and pieces that we didn't want. So when I click off of this, now... I've got a really good green screen. I've chopped out the corners that I didn't want and I want to produce this. So here we go. I'm going to left click back on it. I'm going to make sure that we're set to composite as our ultra key because we want to, when we export it, we want to export it as is. And we've got the key. Everything's there and I like the settings. Let's go ahead and export this. And this is another tricky part. So just follow along with me. You want to go to file. Now we're going to go to export export media but here's something interesting we by taking out the background green screen we're now wanting to create a export with an alpha channel what did I just do there did I not hit file export file export media come on work with me there we go and instead of for me I usually use h264 as my standard but if I if I render with the h264 in regular with the regular preset, you're gonna get the black behind her. We do not want that. We want all of that removed. So I'm gonna switch it from H.264 to QuickTime. And in particular, I'm gonna go QuickTime and then there's two or three or four good settings actually. But the one that I generally use is Apple Pro Res 444 with Alpha. Now, the other really good one is the GoPro Cineform RGB with alpha these we it, it needs to say alpha or it has to have an alpha channel so i'm going to go ahead and do that and i'm going to call this um i'm going to just photo alpha and i'm going to chop this into my let's put that into my movies drive okay it's called photo alpha and that's the name of it and it should go pretty quickly now once i render it i'm going to show you that we got it good because i'm going to go ahead and put in a background and I'm going to put her on top of it and you're going to be able to see just how good this was. So, all right. So we've got photo alpha. We rendered it. Now the next step here to show you what we just did is I'm going to go into my drive here and there's something called photo alpha. This is what we just did. I'm going to drag and drop that into the timeline here or into the project panel for now actually. And then I'm also going to go to my pictures and I've got this goofy looking Christmas background 
and this is just to show you what we've done. So I'm going to go ahead and go right click. I'm going to click on Photo Alpha, and we're going to create a new sequence with what we just made. So this is what we just processed, new sequence from Clip, and bang, this is what we've got. Now, I've got that Christmas thing too. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on my, make sure that you've got the selection tool, collect, uh, click. I'm going to move Photo Alpha up to V2, and I'm going to drag and drop the Christmas thing right behind it. Now, do you see what happened here? Now, I've got her, and when we processed it, this is her in front of this fictitious Christmas screen, perfectly green screen. We've extracted her. She looks good. This is a professional, basically a professional level uh, green screen work with bad lighting, guys. This is how you do it. Thanks for watching. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Ask any questions. I'll be here, and I'm happy to help. Thanks a lot. See you soon.